Most of these kids never walked in their lives. The first thing that, that arises is uh, uh, the smile. The kids start to, to smile and then they look at their feet. I am Elena Garcia. I am a roboticist, a robotics engineer, and a scientist at the Spanish National Research Council. I am also the founder of Marcy Bionics, the company that is transferring uh, the technology of exoskeletons to the society. Six-year-old Alejandro has cerebral palsy. He took his first steps with the help of this device, the world's first adaptable robotic exoskeleton for children. 17 million children in the, in the world need this kind of technology. So because we knew we had the knowledge, the know-how, uh, we started to develop this technology and in three years we had the first prototype of a pediatric exoskeleton that was tested. Once we, we showed these results to the community, we started to receive the demand from clinicians, families all over the world because all of them needed this kind of technology. Es increíble porque aunque sea de forma eh, externa, o sea, él está caminando. Que es un sueño. Ya. The battery powered device provides mobility and strength to help patients walk, and it adapts to each patient's needs and symptoms. There are two different ways of working with the device. One is a passive mode where if the kid doesn't know how to move because it never worked, the device is able to provide a gait pattern specific for that child, but it's programmed for, for him. So it simply repeats the motions and it's walking forward and backward, backwards. There's another way where the exoskeleton is waiting for the kid to make a, a force. So there's a threshold of force that the physiotherapist can program. And until the patient is not surpassing this threshold in force, the device is not moving. Step by step, the child is the one that is governing the, the motion of the device. They feel they are able to do things that they were not able to do before. They feel that they, they are able to do things like they, their peers. They improve their self-esteem. At the end, this is like a, a global integral therapy, not only physical therapy, but is somehow related to the personal development of the kid. Y cuando fue para adelante, fue muy contento. Pero la primera vez que le pusieron a caminar hacia atrás, que es una cosa que tiene en su esqueleto y que él jamás había experimentado esa, esa sensación, bueno, es que se reía carcajadas. Le gustó muchísimo. O sea, fue, fue algo alucinante. Elena's parents were also scientists, and she says science has been in her life since she was born. It was difficult for me not to be a scientist. At the very beginning, I wanted to be an art artist, but <laughs> my, my parents brought me to the, the way of, of, the, of science. And I really enjoy science. I, I wanted to be a roboticist because this was the way I could merge the engineering and the creativity of arts. Robotics is like a mix of engineering and arts. Elena Garcia Armada. <laughs> Elena, come here. <laughs> Elena was recently awarded the popular prize at the European Inventor Award 2022 and she has big ambitions for the future. My idea is to reduce size, weight, so it can even be introduced inside the, the body of the people. But this is a very long-term vision, of course. We, we need to, to work a lot on this. It's really wonderful how you can feel when you see at the end that all your work is reflecting into the improvement in health of, of so many children. Yay. Yay.